Whenever I visit a public school, I'll usually ask teachers what type of computer science courses they're teaching. Far too often, I get an answer like keyboarding in Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. I obviously believe students should be able to use these programs. However, this form of computer science will not prepare our students for the jobs of the future. Instead, computer science curriculum should focus on such things as coding and JavaScript, program language, statistical analysis, and HTML, just to name a few. By doing so, we will challenge our students to identify problems and come up with unique solutions to address them in this technological age. Teaching true computer science like this school in very rural Greene County, North Carolina, will enhance our students' problem-solving creativity and critical thinking skills while working both independently and in teams. So in the sixth grade, we look at it in a real simplistic format, and especially when we look at our coding for the Spheros, we use block-based coding, because a lot of kids, it's their first introduction to the idea of coding. Spheros are like these little ball things that have movements to them, and you have this program thing on your iPad, and when you run the program, it you tell the Spiro what to do, and it does it. It incorporated math, so we kind of like learned about more about math, like about the degrees and um, the seconds that we had to add up. Like um, we had these courses where you had to like calculate how many degrees the Spiro had to turn, or like how many seconds it had to run and stop. We be teaching them blueprinting skills, we work on problem solving skills, we work on designing solutions and new things and so we really focus on STEM attributes and STEM skills that are necessary that they can take back and, and make their, it'll be more beneficial in their regular classes. It's pretty much like you're trying to get a task and you're trying to do like one little movement that can create, that would create, keep creating more movement into something bigger to finally do that task without having to do it yourself. I can make games, I can work with computers, I can design robots and, and build castles for it to tear down and see that this works but this didn't. So I need to go back and, and reframe my plan. We were using the iPad, then opening the program, um, the storage, like exploring how the program. A hard drive in it so we could, because usually you need a, a little cord to connect to the remote in the car, but we put a car drive in the car in the remote so it can be Bluetooth instead of us having to use a card. We started out with Block Souls, which is um, a game where you create your own games using blocks. And once it's finalized, you can play the game. And it has like three different sections you can go through. Programmed the uh, hard drive and we put it in the um, robot and one in the controller and made it function properly. But if I take what I learned here and reapply it, then I'm going to get better and better as it moves on. And the earlier we can start them with that, the more productive they're going to be when they're leaving us and hopefully either going into college or going into the workforce. So we're trying to better prepare them for that. By the year 2040, 75% of all jobs will require a background in computer science. That means children enrolling in kindergarten will most likely need some type of computer science training by the time they enter the workforce. As it stands right now, North Carolina has less than 30 total teachers in the entire public school system in North Carolina that are qualified to teach true computer science. While at the same time, there are $1.5 billion worth of jobs in North Carolina alone awaiting someone with these very skills. We must do better. And that's why we're putting together a plan to implement computer science training in each of our schools. My office has been working with State Superintendent Mark Johnson, the Department of Public Instruction, the Friday Institute, Code.org, and many other computer science advocates to ensure that we are successful preparing our students for the very real jobs of today and even the unknown jobs of tomorrow in computer science.